and let's finish up. We'll add the holder and we'll take the hand piece and I'll place it in the holder so it doesn't accidentally fall anywhere and it's also very easy to use. It's nice that it has the cord coiled like this and we'll plug it in on the front side and now we need to make sure that it's in a low speed. Make sure that it's still off. And now this piece. And technically you need to plug it in or use the foot pedal. But I love to use it. Once I tried it out, I found it very easy and comfortable to use. But it's not required. You don't have to use the pedal if you don't want to. We'll plug it in. Let there be light. We'll turn the switch on the side to the on position. And so, the drill is working. We can see the light. And that means it's ready to work to do its thing. And so, I'm going to turn it towards me. It works! And we hold it like a pen. And here it's a little fan inside, so the motor doesn't overheat. Also, there are zero vibrations. None at all. It's very cool. We'll lower the speed to zero. And here, I need the drill to turn in the other direction. When we work, we do one side, then the other, and it needs to rotate in a certain direction. And we can switch which direction it turns. Very easy. We'll flip the switch. And you'll notice that the drill is now turning in the opposite direction. And we can do whatever work we need. Here's the maximum speed. It's very powerful. 40,000 RPM. And it seems like nothing's happening. But put your finger up to the drill bit and you'll feel it. And now, let's see how we can use it with the foot pedal. Here we will flip the switch, here to the foot position, and look what happens. I move the speed knob, but nothing happens. The drill doesn't turn. So I'll just set the speed that I need, and I'll press on the pedal. And of course, this should be on the floor, so I'll move it down. I'm going to use my right foot. Uh, for me, it's very comfortable. And look, I'm just sitting here, not touching anything. I just need to work, so I'll press on the pedal with my foot, and the drill starts working. I release the pedal. I'll flip the switch to rotate in the opposite direction, and again, I just press with my foot, and the drill works now in the other direction very cool but you don't have to use the pedal if you don't want to such a cool little machine the strong 210 